हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक राइसेफ डब्ल्यू और डब्ल्यू राइसेफ एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस सो फार वी कवर्ड आर आर स्टैंड्स फॉर रिपोर्ट्स आई स्टैंड्स फॉर इंटरफेसेस सी स्टैंड्स फॉर कन्वर्जन ई स्टैंड्स फॉर एनहांसमेंट्स नाउ आई विल मूव ऑन टू एफ एफ स्टैंड्स फॉर फॉर्म्स फॉर्म्स now what are forms forms are layouts in sap for any customer or in real world layouts always play a vital role just go for a simple understanding suppose i am booking a ticket yes after that what whenever i will book a ticket i will get a pdf of my ticket that is what it's a layout itself suppose you are going to any supermarket you are getting a bill that is what it is a layout suppose we are receiving some parcel on top of that we have one bill what is that it is a layout so whenever we are doing anything in real world layouts always always play a vital role and in everywhere you will see the concept of layouts now if the business requirement cannot be satisfied by standard layouts then we will create our own custom layouts yes sap has already provided lots of forms lots of layouts but if the requirements are not satisfied with sap standard layout then we will create our own custom layout because simple understanding suppose there is a customer customer has some sort of dedicated logo will sap provide that logo no sap will not provide it means you will develop your own form which has that particular logo suppose you have a different requirement which is not given by sap it means at that point of time we will develop our own layout now we have so many tools available which is given by sap to design the layouts we have smart forms we have adobe forms we have sap script and we have dedicated playlist for this topic you can learn smart form you can learn adobe form you can learn sap script so these all are used to design the layouts in the sap now i will move on to next term and the next term is w w stands for work flow now most important part is many times in the project you will not even see work flow they will always say okay this is the scope of the ricef object you will not even listen the term w and we have few projects also in which we have work flow so we have many projects are there in which they will not even take that term work flow they will always say okay we have this much ricef object there is no scope of work flow so we are not at all taking the word w so what w stands for w stands for work flow word itself is saying it is a flowing of data from level one level to another level we'll go for a simple example to understand the work flow suppose i am working in a company i am applying a leave in the system whenever i will apply the leave in the system it will go into the work flow of my supervisor just see the work is flowing work is flowing from my level my level to my supervisor level now whenever it is in the work flow of supervisor he the supervisor can approve the leave or supervisor can reject the leave so at every level actions are there suppose if i am at if the leave is at my level but is action from my end i will apply the leave in the system so applying the leave is a action at my end whenever it went into the work flow of my supervisor then what are the actions for the supervisor supervisor can approve or supervisor can reject so with the help of work flow only 
that data will flow from one level to another level. And just now at every level, you have one or more actions are required. And if the business requirement or customer requirement is not satisfied by SAP standard workflow, then we will go for the creation of the custom workflow. We will create our own workflow. And you will see so many projects in real world where there is no scope of workflow at all. If there is a scope of workflow, then we will use SAP workflow. If SAP's workflow is not fulfilling the requirement, then we will go for custom workflow also. But in every project, RISEF is always, always will be there. So what is the summary of last these two to three videos? We'll just summarize each and everything. Firstly, RISEF W is also called as W RISEF. In SAP, every technical object belongs to this RISEF W. Total six categories of technical object are there. R reports, I interfaces, C conversion, E enhancement, F forms and W workflow. If the requirement is not fulfilled by SAP standard, SAP standard functionality, it is called as a gap and based upon that gap, we will develop a particular object in the form of RISEF W. What are reports? Reports are display of data in dedicated format based upon the customer requirement. Now we have so many formats of the report. We have classical reports there. We have ALV reports there. You can simply learn these topics from the various playlist. We have dedicated playlist. Now I stands for interfaces. Interface works in all the directions. Non-SAP, SAP, SAP to non-SAP, SAP to SAP. We have a dedicated playlist in which you will learn the various cross applications like BAPI, RFC, IDOCS. These all are your interfaces. Now we will move on to C. C stands for conversion. In any implementation project, conversion plays a vital role because we need to convert the data from one format to another format so that SAP can accept that data. Whenever data is converted, after that you can migrate that data using various data migration techniques, BDC, LSMW, PAPI. These all are your data migration techniques. Then we discuss the difference interface works in all the direction but conversion and then the data migration is only only from non-SAP to SAP. Non-SAP is also called as legacy system. Now we cover the after that E. E stands for enhancements. Now in case of enhancements you are not developing anything from the scratch in SAP standard functionality itself, you will add your own code. Now, if SAP has not given that in the SAP standard functionality, we will add our own functionality. And the various enhancement techniques are implicit and explicit, body, customer exit, user exit, BTE, means business transaction event. And we have a dedicated playlist for enhancements and modifications, you can learn from there itself. Now, after that, we have the forms. Forms are layouts in SAP and layouts are very important in this real world. Everywhere you will see the layouts. SAP has already given lots of layout, but if the requirements are not fulfilled by standard layout, then we will design our own layouts and we have the various tools available like smart form, PDF form, SAP script. We have dedicated playlist. You can learn these all these topics from those playlists. Now, after that, we covered workflow. We have very less projects in which we have the scope of the workflow. Many times or always we have this RISEF only. Workflow means 
you are flowing that data from one level to another level. Just now we took the example of leave application. In case of leave application, once I will apply, it will go into the workflow of my supervisor and every level actions are required so that data will flow to the next level. And yes, if the business requirement is not fulfilled by SAP standard workflow, then we will go for the creation of our own workflow. So as of now, you will not see any playlist for the workflow. But yes, we all will learn. Yes, we all will learn together. We all will grow. So in the upcoming days or in the future, you will find the playlist for the workflow also. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.